But without further ado, let me demonstrate traffic sent from our local PC through a router to google.com. And let's capture some of that traffic and interrogate it. And then I'll explain the various layers of the OSI model in the Wireshark capture. Wireshark is a free network protocol analyzer or sniffer. And it allows us to capture data that is transmitted and received by my PC. And it shows us very nicely the different layers of the OSI model. So the first thing you need to do if you wanna capture traffic is go to capture and then select the interface that you wanna capture traffic from. So in this case, I've got my local NIC card. I'll be able to see packets that are transmitted and received on that network card. So I'll select my interface. And in this case, it's my local network connection. I can then go to a website such as google.com. Wireshark will capture those packets and all other traffic on my network card. In this case, I've set it to promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode will allow me to capture traffic that's not destined to my PC, but it'll capture all traffic visible by the network card. But at this point, I'm gonna to go to capture and stop the capture. I can now filter the information in Wireshark and I'm going to use an HTTP filter. In this example, you can see that I've received traffic from Google. Notice the IP address is 74.125.233.82, and it's being sent to my local PC IP address of 10.0.0.5. Now looking at the frame, we can see that it's 777 bytes in size. This is an Ethernet 2 frame, which was sent by my local router. In this case, it's a Cisco router, and it was sent to my local PC. Here's the MAC address of my PC, and here's the MAC address of the Cisco router. What I'd like to point out here is the type field specifying the protocol used at layer three. This is IP version four. The type field for IP version four in hexadecimal is 0800. At layer three, you can see that we're using version four of IP. Notice the source and destination IP addresses. A huge amount of information can be gleaned from this Wireshark capture, and I won't bore you going through all the options. But notice here, we can see differentiated services code points, or DSCP, which is used for quality of service. What I'd like to point out here is that the protocol used at layer four is TCP, so the protocol number is six. That's the protocol number for TCP. At layer four, we can see that TCP is being used, you can see the source port being 80. Google is sending traffic back to my PC from port 80, which is the well-known port for HTTP. And this is my ephemeral port, which is used for the session. I initiated the session to Google, so I initiated it from a random or ephemeral port number to a well-known port number. I'll explain port numbers in more detail in the TCP video. Other information with regards to TCP can be seen here. Notice, for example, the sequence numbers. TCP uses sequence numbers to ensure that traffic has been received correctly. Notice the acknowledgement and window size. Window size is the amount of data that can be transmitted without receiving an acknowledgement. You can see that the segment size is 723 bytes. If we look at the higher layer protocols, notice we've got HTTP. And digging into the HTTP, you can see that the data was compressed using gzip. And if we look at the actual HTTP itself, you'll be able to see that this information came from google.com. Google does a lot of tracking. So as you can see here, there's a lot of information transmitted from that very basic Google page. But as an example, you can see google.com referenced multiple times in the HTML. Notice that as an example at the end of the script, we've got end of body, end of HTML. So with Wireshark, we can capture data from the wire and interrogate it to see what's going on. So just in summary, this is an IP version four example. Higher layer protocols are referenced within lower layer protocols, and you can see quite nicely layer two of the OSI model, layer three of the OSI model, layer four, and then the higher layer protocols being the application layer.